my name is Irene Gaibo, proprietor of Think Ribbon Beauty Salon and Training Center. I define success in business as knowing what your challenges are and having a plan as to how to overcome them and making sure that you follow it to the latter. For a business to be successful, proprietor or owner of a business should have some character traits. I believe those character traits should be first of all honesty. You should be honest to yourself and to your environment. Know what you can do and what you cannot do. Know when to seek help and when to bring people on board. I also believe that you have to be honest in telling your partners or your customers or associates exactly what you can offer. I also believe that uh, to be successful, you have to have the passion for what you are doing. Know what you want to do and have the energy for it. Also have the knowledge or the necessary skills required to succeed. If you need education or training, please try and get some. Those are the traits I believe an entrepreneur should have. Um, for me, I was able to set up my business through my personal savings and plowing back. So whatever money we made from our sales, we kept on plowing back. And that is how we have been going to this day. This has been successful because I've been able to put together a team that believes in me. A team that I have actually been honest to so they know what I can give them at what point in time and then. So we grow together. For a startup to be able to assess funding, you have to be able to show your partners what you yourself have been able to put together. I believe you don't have to go sorting for funding empty-handed. First of all, what have you been able to gather for yourself? What are your plans? How feasible is your business? Because for someone to be able to invest in your business, it should be feasible. The person should be able to see prospects in it. And that again comes with how prepared you are in terms of your seriousness. What market survey have you done? How do you think your products will be received in the market? My greatest achievement so far, I've had a lot of fun movements and uh, what I'll consider as my greatest achievement is the people I have been able to train out of charity. People who have genuinely not been able to afford the training fees but we have succeeded in training them and we have a number of them on the field who have also started. That is my greatest achievement. And right now, I think we can boast of seven people that have been trained on our account. Our strategy for growth moving forward is focusing on the training because we realize that there's a gap in the market when it comes to employment. There are no formal jobs. But with a skill, it's easy for you to employ yourself and even employ others. So we are planning on expanding the training programs to include more activities. Right now, we have, formally, we have started with four training programs. We are looking forward to adding three more, making seven programs in all. And we also want to expand into production of a, a hair care line which would include a hair pomades, hair shampoos, hair conditioners and other accessories needed in hair care. I think an accelerated program should focus on uh, bringing people together that's a link up we, we should be able to know ourselves and know that, okay, so if I need this, I can get this from this person and all of that. Standing as individuals or alone makes it difficult. And when we are together, then we know how to depend on each other. And it might even be just advice or even patronizing each other. 
So for me, I think an accelerated program should concentrate on bringing these uh, various entrepreneurs together, creating a platform for us to be able to reach to each other. And for me, if I have to choose between volume and value, I, I think both of them are needed when it comes to um, talking about success. But if I have to choose between the two, I would definitely go for value value because of course everybody wants the best out of everything and if you are offering something to someone especially at a fee you should be able to give the person the best of what he or she is asking for and volumes yes numbers are good but it's better to have a few people that are satisfied than a large number of people that are not so satisfied you feel like you can give more than you have offered so i will choose value my last words to you, a, a setup is be true to yourself be honest and for you to be able to succeed identify a problem in the society and try to get a solution to it that is how you go and people will be able to buy into it and um, we've come to a point that buying and selling doesn't really pay much so there are a lot of problems in society just get what is the problem in your society and how do you think you can solve it in your quest to get a solution you will get people who will buy into your dream and that is how you build a business